I'm Pete and you're watching Feral Fabrications. Today we're setting the valve clearance in the clapped out Capri. Let's do it. For this job I've removed the alternator. This is the alternator bracket here so that's gone and that was so I could get my valve cover off on this side. Also had to disconnect that breather. I've just taken the distributor cap right off. Um, so when I clip it back on I've marked number one lead and then I can just reset the firing order. I've left all the spark plugs out from after I did the compression test on this, so I've done a separate video. Check out the compression test video if you're interested. And this side here come off really easy, it only had the screws holding it on, um, so that was a lot easier to take off that side. So I've taken both off and I've got the manual open for this engine to check the very specific order you have to check the valve clearances to make sure they don't close up on you. So the order is valves one and six open, check 10 and seven. Valves eight and 11 open, check five and four, and so on. So if you're interested in doing that, hold that over there so you can jot that down, pause the video, whatever. And then the valves are numbered um, front, front of the engine, on the left hand side 1 to 6, on the right hand side 7 to 12. So that's all the information you need in terms of the sequence. The clearances need to be set for the inlet 12 thou or 0.3 millimeters and the clearance for the exhaust is 20 thou or 0.51 millimeters. So exhaust needs more clearance because it gets hotter with all that hot exhaust gas going through there and the inlet stays a little cooler because of all the fuel and air cooling it as it passes across. We'll run through the whole engine, check them all out, make sure we're good for racing at Taupo uh, next weekend. Let's do it. So the first valve we want to check as open is number one valve and number six. So we'll rotate the engine until this goes all the way down and the valve is fully open. To rotate the engine I've just got a socket and a ratchet on the end of the pulley and it's really easy to wind over with the spark plugs out. So winding it over until one and six open, you can see one is dropping there as well as six at the back. You can see the difference in height between the number one valve and the number two valve next to it. So now that valves one and six are open, we need to check valves 10 and seven, which are actually on the other side of the engine. This is valve number seven, and there we go, eight, 9, 10, this is valve number 10. Valve number 10 is an exhaust, so we'll get the feeler gauge and check the clearance for the 20 thou. That feels spot on. Now we'll move to valve 7, and you can see no exhaust coming out of valve 7, so it's an inlet, so we check that with the 12 thou feeler gauge. Just a little bit of drag. That feels great as well. I'm going to move on and open valves 8 and 11. So that's 8, so 7, 8, 11. They'll be the next ones in the sequence to open. There we go. So now we can see valves 8 and 11 are open. They're all the way down. And the valve clearances to check are five and four, which are on the other side of the engine again. Picking valves five and four, we can just go one, two, three, four. It's number four, it's an inlet, so we'll get our inlet feeler gauge of 12 thou. Feels great. Now the exhaust, one, two, three, four, five. That's this one here. Check it. Again, that feels great. Right, I'm going to adjust a couple of these so that they're out of spec and I'll show you how to fix them. Let's do them on the next two in the sequence. So we'll wind over to valves two and three. Open. So we're looking for this one and this one to be open So the next two in the sequence. You can see they're already on their way down. Okay, now that 2 and 3 are open, we need to check 9 and 12. So 
So back on the other side of the engine again. Checking 9 and 12, but let me just back them off and show you what they'd be like if they're out of spec. 7, 8, 9, that's this one. And 12 is the one at the back. And you can feel they're loose, which means there's no pressure from the camshaft. If I just back that one off a bit, that'll be much too, too loose now. And let's try tighten this one up. And we'll show you how to correct them. There's no lock nuts or anything on this one. They're a special type of nut that basically doesn't work loose, so it's almost like a nylock nut, but just made out of steel. Uh, the main thing to do when you're checking the valve clearance is to check them with the socket removed. You can do it during, but also check it after you've taken the socket off, just to make sure you didn't have it jammed up in here or anything, which gives you a, could give you a false reading. Let's check 12, which is an exhaust valve, so 20 thou, and I've tightened it up a bit, so I shouldn't be able to get this in here. You see that won't go. Let's back it off. A bit more. There we go. So we can see that's going in now. Probably just slightly too loose. So, so I'll just give that a tiny tweak. That's quite a precise thing. It'll take your time. You're not doing big changes or anything. Just, just a little bit loose. There we go. So that's just dragging there now. You want a little bit of resistance, but nothing that is jamming it or really dragging hard. It's probably a little tight as well. Dragging pretty easily through there. Right, let's go to the inlet that I loosened off. That was number nine. So seven, eight, nine. And we go to our inlet valve clearance of 12 valve. We come in and we can see that is really moving through there. Oh, that's loose. So there's no resistance there. You can even I feel the difference when you just wiggle that. So, come along, just tweak that up. You can just keep wiggling it, keep wiggling it, and you just feel it starting to jag, drag. You'll even see it a wee bit on the camera probably. Here we go. So that's just dragging there now. It may have even gone just a little bit much. I think I'll just back that up just a tad. Just a little bit tight to drag through there. There we go, see it freed up there. My advice to you would be to, if anything, set them with a little more clearance because having an annoying tick is better than having your valves uh, not closed properly. You'll lose power and burn the valve because um, it's designed to be closed during the combustion cycle. That's it. We just had two and three open. Now we need to go to seven and ten. So we should be looking for seven and ten. Yeah. And we're going to check six and one. This is number one as an exhaust. Yep. Happy with that. And now we're looking for number six, which is an inlet. Feels fine too. We're gonna open valves four and five. So that's four and five. We're gonna watch those open now. Now we're gonna check 11 and eight. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Check those. That. Yep, that's fine. Keep going, rotate the motor, so 9 and 12 open. 7, 8, 9, that'll be this one. 12, the one for that. Looking for those two. Now back to the other side of the motor to check 2 and 3, the last two. 2, it's an inlet, so we're looking for 12 there on that. Feels good. And three, right next to it is an exhaust. 
them to head roast on that one. Hope that was helpful for anyone needing to set the valve lash on an old Ford V6 out of a Capri. Uh, there are lots of other things, boats and, and the rest of it. Uh, we'll do a wee time lapse to finish this video out of putting the valve covers back on, putting the alternator back on. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.